Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2013 Australian sci-fi apocalyptic thriller film called These Final Hours. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. As we begin the film, we see James together with his girlfriend Zoe. Neither of them says a word for a while, and then shortly after, they become intimate. We flash forward to a time a little bit after the two were together with James driving down the road in a panic. James listens to the radio, with many distress calls being put out over the airwaves. James continues to listen as he hears that there has been some natural disaster in the ocean outside of Perth, Australia, that is leading to the end of the world. He continues to drive down the road, seeing the chaos ensuing outside, with many people injured or going crazy. We then see James confess his fear of the impending end of the world to Zoe. He also tells her that he wants to go to a party that is happening before the world ends. In the present, James is driven into a roadblock and stops his car. He immediately is threatened by an angry man who forces him to drive in a different direction. The man is clearly crazy as he rambles nonsense about the people who are trying to survive the apocalypse. After a short drive, he forces James to stop the car if he goes to kill a random man on the road. Frightened, James begins to flee, but is chased after by the deranged man. James is chased through the neighborhood until he finally takes shelter underneath the car to hide. The man eventually goes in a different direction and James is safe for now. Immediately after, James sees that nearby, a young girl named Rose has been kidnapped by two men and taken into a house. James goes to steal the two men's van but is unable to leave the young girl behind. James goes inside the two men's house in search of Rose, but is then attacked by them. After a fierce struggle, James kills the two men and rescues Rose. He takes her out to the van, but she is hesitant to get inside again. James finally convinces her and they leave. Rose goes on to tell James that her family was headed to her aunt's house in another city, but lost her dad along the way. As they go in search of Rose's father, near an ice rink where he left his car, James listens to the radio as it continues to describe the downfall of Earth. James eventually has enough, telling Rose that her father is not around. Rose asks if James can take her to her aunt's house in another city. James initially refuses, but then tells Rose he will take her to his sister's house instead. Eventually, James and Rose reach James's sister's house. They investigate around the house, but they don't see anybody. Turning a corner, James sees his water running down the stairs, and that worries him. So, he tells Rose to go swim outside while he looks further upstairs. Upon going upstairs, James sees his sister and her husband have already died. As he steps out to the balcony, he also sees a grave for the three children. Jane then goes to leave without Rose, but she catches up to him and he reluctantly lets her in the car, telling Rose his sister isn't at home. We can flash back to when James was still with Zoe. He tries to comfort her about their impending doom. She tells James that she is pregnant with this child. James becomes angry that Zoe has told him the shocking news, and she asks him to stay with her. James is adamant that nothing matters anymore, and he doesn't want to feel anything when the end comes for him. Zoe tells him that life is stronger than death, but James leaves anyway. Flashing back to the present, Rose offers James a wrap for his bleeding arm. As she helps wrap his arm, Rose expresses his worry about where she will end up after she dies. She expresses guilt over a mistake she made some time ago, but James tells her bad things just happen and it's not her fault. He also refused her thought that this was all within God's plan, calling the world ending a dumb way to do things. James and Rose then enter a library to speak with the police officer about leaving Rose in his family's care. However, they change their minds and turn to leave, but the police officer stops James and asks him to do a favor, help him to put an end to him and his family's life. James refuses, and the police officer asks that James forgive him for what he has to do. James initially refuses, but feels threatened by the policeman so he does and slowly walks away with Rose. Continuing along their journey, James and Rose finally make it to the party 
that James has been wanting to go to. James and Rose enter the party as it is in full swing, and after pushing their way through the crowd, they go to meet James's friend, Freddy. The duo then go to find James's actual girlfriend, Vicky, who is somewhere in the party. Upon seeing Vicky, she then takes James away and leaves Rose by herself at the pool. Shortly after, James and Vicky become intimate, but James is distracted. James tries to tell those about the things that have happened along the way, especially the death of his sister, but Vicky doesn't want to hear it. Meanwhile, Rose is in the pool, but is soon accosted by a strange woman who thinks Rose is her daughter. The woman tries to get Rose to take a pill, and Rose reluctantly agrees, but only if the woman will take her to her aunt's house. Elsewhere, Vicky shows James an underground bunker Freddy has prepared to survive the end of the world. James says it's all pointless, calling Freddy's plan dumb and useless. Back at the pool, Rose is feeling the effects of the pill she has taken. Meanwhile, James and Vicky begin to argue about James spending time with Zoe. Vicky begins to get very angry, but then very scared immediately after, saying she does not want to die. They embrace, and James tells her that he's scared as well, but he has to leave the party to take Rose to see her father. Suddenly, Freddy appears, and he is upset that Vicky has shown James his bunker instead of himself. Freddy sees Vicky is crying, and James begins to yell at him for telling her that they can survive the end of the world. Outside, James finds the woman who gave Rose the pill, who has now become ill due to the effects of it. James tries to take Rose away from the woman, but Freddy appears and won't let him, thinking that Rose is the woman's daughter. Vicky appears taking the gun from Freddy and kills the woman trying to take Rose. James then runs to a nearby underpass with Rose, trying to nurse her back to health. James then steals a taxi and then drives furiously to his mother's house to get help for Rose. Once Rose is situated, James's mother reprimands him for not showing up earlier. James and his mother then talk about his sister. James tells her about his visit to her home earlier, but lies about what actually happened to them. James then asks his mother to use her car and she is in disbelief that he still wants to help Rose. She tells him that someone stole her car, and they both have a laugh at the irony of it all. James's mother directs him to a shed to find some petrol cans, and he asks what she's going to do before the end. She tells him she is going to do something simple, and he looks at her incredulously, but continues on. Shortly after, Rose is finally awake, and James checks up on her before they go to leave. James goes to say goodbye to his mother, who tells him that he's doing a good thing, helping Rose find her family. James and Rose continue on their journey as the radio continues to play, continuing to share the news of the decimation of the world. Sometime during the drive, Rose apologizes for the trouble she got into at Freddy's party. James consoles Rose, telling her that she should not be upset when she meets her father. Rose asks about James's relationship with Vicky stating Vicky to be weird and that she thought James would have a nicer girlfriend. Finally arriving at Rose's aunt's house, Rose rushes to go find her family as James follows behind. They both search around the house but are unable to find anyone. Rose runs off to a nearby pond hoping to find her family while James wanders around the property. He continues his wandering and ends up coming across the dead bodies of Rose's family, including her father. Immediately after, Rose approaches James, asking if he found anybody. Rose realizes something is wrong and goes to search the area James was just in. James stops her, but is unable to tell her what happened. He finally breaks down and tells her that they are all dead, and she rushes to try to see the bodies, but he again stops her. He apologizes to Rose, but she's adamant about confirming whether it is indeed her father or not that is dead. James carries her father's body to her, and upon finally seeing him, she breaks down and cries uncontrollably. James tries to take her away, but she refuses, saying that she needs to stay with her dad when the end comes for her. James watches over Rose as she makes a makeshift grave for her father, and he gives her a picture that her dad had in his possession. James then tells Rose about Zoe and how he would love to have been a father in the end of the world had it not been coming. Rose tells James that there was still time to see Zoe 
and make things right with her. They embrace, and they tell each other goodbye for the last time as James goes to be with Zoe. James tearfully waves goodbye to Rose in his rearview mirror and continues for the final stretch of his journey, eventually breaking down and sobbing as he drives away. James drives to go see Zoe as he listens to the radio, counting down the final hour before the end of their world. Unfortunately, James's car overheats and forces him to stop. James exits the vehicle and continues to run down the road, exhausted and tired. He races against the time to reach Zoe as the minutes count down and the sky begins to darken. He finally reaches Zoe's house, calling out her name as the earth begins to rumble around him. He doesn't find her in her room. As he stops to collect his breath, he looks out the window and sees the massive clouds gathering in the ocean in front of him. He runs to the beach and sees the enormity of what is about to happen. He sees Zoe standing at the edge of the beach and rushes out to be with her. She is angry that he left her behind, initially pushing him away. James frantically apologizes as Zoe continues to yell at him and hit him. He eventually manages to embrace her and tells her that he loves her, apologizing again. Zoe finally calms down and begins to cry as they hug. She says that she loves James as well. They embrace passionately as the fiery cloud draws ever closer. In their final seconds, Zoe claims the rumbling destruction to be beautiful and in a flash, they are consumed in the flames of destruction. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.